going to be a great show. It's going to be a beautiful show. It's going to be something something different tonight, you know? We got a lot of good acts. We got some funny skits. And um, funniest thing, you know, it's like I'm from Texas originally, but everyone says I have the San Francisco accent. Personally, I think it's all the cucks I've sucked, right? <laughs> I'm just playing with you, San Francisco. I love you. You know, you have all the fruitful characters and all the different corners. And my favorite, I must say, are the transvestites. Transvestites are rad. I know one who was in Vietnam. Believe it or not, she was in Vietnam. That's right. It takes balls to be a tranny in Vietnam. Maybe two in a big old dick. <laughs> Speaking of that, I was jerking on my dick the other day, just kind of jerking at that bitch, you know? And uh, can you believe the nerve of the guy behind the counter giving me a hard time? Apparently it's a, illegal to wear a ski mask in Walmart. <laughs> I don't jerk on my dick anymore. You know why? Because I found a girlfriend. And um, I like that girlfriend. And believe it or not, uh, I'm unemployed with a girlfriend. The only thing that's a problem so I got to wake up with her. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go, but I got to wake up with her. So the other day, I went in and uh, went to brush the old wolf chops, you know. And instead of grabbing the Colgate tube, I grabbed the Vagisil tube. Honestly, I started brushing my teeth, and I didn't even notice it was Vagisil till right after I went down on my girlfriend, and her yeast infection totally cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a girlfriend. Because I don't deserve one. I'm a bad, bad person. <laughs> but I like to keep my standards really low, you know? So I like to keep it up to par. Like, I don't know. I like uh, homeless girls. Honestly, went on a date with a homeless girl the other day. Woke up the other morning, right? And I'm like itching, right? Like itching my shit. And I thought it was crabs. I was a little worried, you know? I was like, fuck. I thought it was crabs. But it turns out, luckily, <laughs> it was just bed bucks. <laughs> Honestly, on a better note, though. I'll tell you, the best part about dating a homeless girl is you wake up in the park. I love the park. I was going to go there to sell my drugs anyways. Speaking of drugs, I lived in L.A. with a couple. We did a lot of drugs. I'll leave you with this. And that roommate I had had the most hottest 18-year-old girlfriend I've ever seen. And I'm never that kind of guy that's going to step on her Kool-Aid. I'm not the kind of guy that will do that, you know. But before I left... They invited me into a menage a trois, which is like a threesome. So to me, that sounded awesome. I was like, wait, do I just pretend that I like you and have sex with your hot ass 18 year old girlfriend? That sounds like a good deal, right? Flawless, flawless victory. Well, uh, it went good. Everything was cool. We got down to the dirty, dirty. And uh, honestly, uh, somewhere in the midst of that, I actually had to put his penis in my mouth. Maybe that's how I got my San Francisco accent. All right, good night. <laughs>